Okay, let's look at the November 2017 electricity question. It says, refer to circuits A and B, here they are, and answer the questions that follow. Define the term EMF, it's the work done per unit charge by the source or the battery. Calculate the total resistance of circuit A. Now circuit A is this one over here. It's very simple. There's just two one and a half ohm resistors in parallel with each other. So you're going to use this formula. I can't type this formula in easily. So I'm just going to work it out using the uh, this method. Okay, because this method's easier to type up. So this is going to be the product of these two. It's going to be 1,5 times 1,5, okay, over the sum. So if we go over, it's the same as divide. So what is the sum of the two resistors? 1,5 plus 1,5. So if we work that out on our calculator, 1.5 times 1.5 must be like 2.25 not sure yep it's 2.25 divided by 3 because one and a half plus one and a half is um, 3 I get 0 comma 75 the resistance is measured in ohms okay if you did this on your calculator and you use this formula you would end up with exactly the same answer I'm just warning you remember at the end of the calculation Whatever the answer you get here is, invert it because the formula says 1 over R total. Now it says continue, consider circuit B. Write down the reading on A2, one mark. Now watch out here. If it says write down, then the answer is like really, really obvious. Okay, you don't need to do a calculation the moment it says write down. It is something obvious and for one mark it's also something obvious. So even if you don't know this, you should just look for a reading on the question. But you need to know that current is the same everywhere in a series circuit. This is a series circuit. Current is the same everywhere. So A1 is going to be equal to A2. It's going to be 1.5 amps. So that's going to be the reading on ammeter 2. And if it says write down, you know that um, the answer is easy. Now it says to you, calculate the reading on voltmeter 1. Where's voltmeter 1? Voltmeter 1 is over here, okay? And the circuit is delivering 9 volts. So if the circuit is delivering 9 volts, it's going to be split up between these two resistors because resistors in a series circuit are potential dividers. So I've got these resistors in a ratio of 2 is to 4, okay? So if I have a look there and my total um, V is 9 volts, okay, my total voltage in the circuit provided by the battery is 9 volts. So 2 and 4 is 6 and we want voltmeter 2, voltmeter 1. So it's 2 over 6, which is the same as 1 over 3. Where am I getting the 6 from? 2 plus 4 in my ratio gives me 6. I'm looking at the smaller resistor, so it's 2 over 6. I simplify 2 over 6. It's 1 over 3. So it's 1 divided by 3 times the total voltage in the circuit. So I've got 1 third of 9. It's going to be 3 volts. Okay. If you wanted to, this is working it out on the knowledge that a series circuit is a potential divider. If you wanted to, you can also work it out and say V equals IR. And so then um, V equals IR. You can work out this voltage by saying, working out the current in the circuit, one and a half amps. And then let me just check that calculation. But why do we need to do V equals I if we can do this? We can just stay with this. This is 3 volts. It's correct. Oh, um, what are we doing? Oh, we're looking at voltmeter 1. Sorry, I always get confused in these questions what we're looking at. We can say V equals IR. So this 9 volts is the total current provided by the circuit. If you want to say V equals IR, then you say, okay, I'm trying to find my voltage on this particular... Um, resistor over here. So its voltage on voltmeter 1 is going to be the current, which is the same everywhere in the circuit. 
okay one and a half amps everywhere in the circuit times by the resistance of the resistor which is two ohms so then you get a voltage of three volts it's the same just doing the calculation in a different manner but this is the way you're supposed to know using the ratio of the voltages now it says to you if a third resistor one and a half ohms is placed in parallel with the existing resistors in circuit a would the total current in the circuit increase decrease or remain the same look here it's asking you for a parallel resistor but it's asking you what happens to the current so for three marks here you need to explain in a logical fashion okay what happens first of all if we place another resistor in parallel okay if a resistor is placed in parallel what happens to the total resistance the total resistance decreases I told you to learn this fact okay because remember the resistance changes by 1 over R so if the resistor is placed in parallel the total resistance increases decreases we need to explain that how is this going to affect the current this will increase the current because the voltage yeah, the voltage can't change. Why? Because the voltage supplied by the battery will remain the same. Okay, so the current is going to increase, the voltage can't um, change, and so the current's going to increase because we've got a less resistance. So we're actually supposed to have written increase at the beginning here. And then your explanation so one mark for the increase one mark for saying the resistance decreases the other one for saying why is the current going to increase because the voltage can't change if the voltage could change you might not see this effect but the voltage can't change and that I do believe is the end of this question